Okay, we're visiting today with Jesuit baseball coach Joey Latino, and we're discussing his Blue Jays baseball team. Uh, Joey, let's start with uh, getting some thoughts from you about the uh, current season. Your team is off to a fine 15 and 4 start, and you're as you enter uh, Catholic League play. Well, overall, I, I would describe our play as solid. Uh, we've been getting uh, some good pitching. Uh, offensively, we've been very good, uh, consistent. Um, the numbers you look at us uh, offensively, the, the thing that jumps off the page is uh, one through nine, we're hitting the ball pretty well. And it's good to see that we're getting contributions, not f just from our best players, but uh, from, from all of our players. Uh, we've been in situations this year where guys have come off the bench and contributed as well, and that's good. It, it, it speaks to our depth. Um, you know, the 15 and 4 start, again, uh, is solid. Um, we've hit a couple of, of games where we've come out a little flat and inconsistent, and those are the things that we're trying to address at practice and trying to improve on. Okay. How about give us uh, some thoughts about your uh, pitching step? The pitching has been very strong and very deep. Uh, Jack Burke leads a, uh, a pretty talented staff. Uh, Sean Bretz has had some good outings. Uh, Mason Mayfield. Uh, pitch very strongly against uh, a good Dutchtown team in the Jay Patterson. We've had good uh, outings from uh, Miles Blunt. Uh, Logan Hornung has done an incredible job, uh, both as a starter and as a reliever. And uh, young Davis Martin, a sophomore left-hander, uh, has, has already shown uh, some strong signs of promise. He pitched a no-hitter against Mandeville and has had some good outings as well. Um, in addition, David Bow and Connor McGinnis are two guys that are kind of coming off the, uh, the injured reserve. Um, and they've both come in and, and given us some strong outings as well. What will be key for your club uh, as you make your way into uh, Catholic League play? I mean, to be to continue the success you've enjoyed and hopefully, uh, you know, surpass it. Well, the, the thing we, we talk about most, Mike, is, is that consistency word. You know, it's, uh, it's trying to avoid the, those games where you, you're flat, you're inconsistent. Um, you know, it all goes back to fundamentals, and that's the things that we continue to stress at practice. You know, just staying process oriented, not worrying so much about the result, um, but just getting back to the, the drill work and the things that got us here in the first place. And if we continue to focus on those things, I think we'll be okay. Okay. Uh, if you would give us an assessment of uh, how the Catholic League. Uh shapes up. I mean, it uh, seems like a lot of strong teams. Very strong. Um, you know, early in the year, I, I know uh, Brother Martin came out of the gate with a 1-5 and five record, I believe, and you look at uh, their performance over the last couple of weeks, now they're 12-6. and six. Um, You know, clearly things uh, in Gentilly have turned around. Uh, Holy Cross is having a very, very solid year, as is Archbishop Shaw. Um, Rummel's another team that's come on of late and, and gotten some big wins under their belt. Uh, so I think everybody's playing pretty well going into district, uh, which should make for a very fun and very exciting district. Okay, we'll put you on the spot here for a moment. Uh, most people seem to think uh, you guys are the team to beat. Well, uh, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Um, you know, and, and we just have to go out game to game and, and try to perform as well as we can and uh, just let the rest of it take care of itself. Um, you know, the preseason polls and, and uh, you know, all the people that have uh, opinions regarding those things, it's, it just makes it fun. Um, and whether you pick first or second or, or last, it, it, you know, it's got to be proven on the field. And that's where we hope that we're able to do it. 